Welcome back to uh, Old Rivers Farm. Sorry it's been a little while since I've made a video. Um, all right, so here's what I want to do today. Sorry the lighting is not the best. It's, uh, sun's going down. But I wanted to make this video about the conventional corn I planted this year. Um, it's from Sureflex Hybrids. Um, I think if you go back to maybe April or May, I have a video about this stuff on there. Anyways, this is the first time I think I've really, yeah, I, have, I don't think I've shown the ears um, yet. So what I did was I went into the field and pulled, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 ears. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like. I've never seen them. You know, I've got to uh, pull them back and look. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at them. Now I will say this. This corn was planted about three three weeks late for this area. And in this area where I live, middle Georgia, the county averages 76 bushels for dry land. So this may not look impressive to some people, especially if you're from the Midwest. <laughs> but uh, um, this is just kind of what dry land corn looks like around here. I mean... If you make a hundred bushel dry land corn, you are, you're really doing something. Um, I have heard of guys, you know, in the past couple of years have been able to creep up into like 120, 130. I heard of one guy got 140 bushel dry land corn one time, but that is just very, very rare. But for most people to make it over hundred bushels is pretty lucky. So I just want to say that before I start pulling these back, um, so I planted this next to the DeKalb variety, uh, 6208. So I'll show you that here in just a second. I've got three years that I pulled there. Same chemical and same fertility program, exact same. The only dif difference really is it was planted like three weeks later. So, all right, let's go ahead and if I can do this with one hand. Uh, see, so yeah, I just went in the field and just grabbed some. Um, this corn, I tested it, was 18 the other day. And uh, I don't have any way to dry corn. So I'm going to let it dry in the field till about 14 and a half or 15% moisture and go ahead and take it out. And uh, so it's like 18, I think, 18 or 18, five, I can't remember, but that was Friday. Today's Monday, Labor Day. So it's been a couple of days. So it should be probably well, within a week, maybe a week out from getting going. So one decided to go ahead and do it by itself. Here's one. The lighting's not the best. It would really glow <laughs> if it had some sun out here. I ain't gonna do all these, but. them real quick
right, here we are. Here is the SureFlex hybrids. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, twelve. So as you can see, um, yeah, for dryland corn, it's pretty good. Um, it's hard to tell in this lighting, like I say, but the the grain quality actually is better than the decalb. I'm gonna show you the decalb in just a second. I I think. Um, not a lot of damage from earworms, not much, and I did not even spray anything for insects. There were some grasshoppers that kind of got in it early, but honestly, they were not in there too long. Um, that's a, probably the biggest one here. Like I say, there may be more that are bigger out there that are bigger than this. Um, I doubt it. I doubt they're all the bigger ones are probably as big as this. That's cool how that kind of does like a little S there. But yeah, that's it. So let me show you the decal. So this is conventional corn, okay? No traits, nothing. No traits. And I just pulled these a couple days ago. Here's the decalb. This is traded corn. So, and yeah, I probably should have given you guys a few more ears for representation, but I'll just say this. This is kind of just from what I have. This is this is my biggest decal beer and my biggest Sureflex here that I have. I mean, there's probably different ones out there in the field, but I would say just looking at the Sureflex and walking out there. I mean, I guess for better representation, if you want to just grab a, uh, I'll just grab this one here, and then this is kind of what most of them out there look like in the decal. So I mean. <laughs> for this to be three and a half weeks behind i would say it's not very it's not bad it's not bad um i'm glad i tried this this corn this conventional corn because i believe i'm gonna make some some decent money off of it because again same inputs uh you know same fertilizer um, same chemical program, everything. Well, I did put um, some Roundup on this, on this uh, DeKalb hybrid. Um, I've probably been saying variety this whole video, but I mean hybrid, sorry. Um, so you have to add whatever, five, six dollars an acre on this. But this is $265 a bag, and this is 97 So but you can just see this corn here i took it friday is about 16 percent moisture is what they told me and i took some of this up there uh opened some up you know hand shelled it and took it up to the elevator and they told me this was 18 i believe or 18.5 i don't know why maybe it's just me i mean is there anything this has got like more of an orange tint to it. It's actually more yellow. This is like a kind of a pale color almost. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. This has been off of the, I should have grabbed a fresher one for comparison. But like I say, we're running out of daylight here. I want to make this video. Um, this has been pulled for a couple of days. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But... Just showing you guys for comparison. This conventional corn definitely didn't do me wrong. It's, uh, I'm not going to complain at all. And if any of you guys are, you know, struggling to make money planting corn, I would definitely advise taking a look at trying to, I wouldn't do all of your acres. I wouldn't switch all of your acres, but you just try some, you know, it, it can't hurt. 
So, and I know there are a lot of uh, people that plant conventional corn on YouTube, other people that you can find that, you know, have planted conventional corn for a long time. This is my first time planting conventional, like, field corn. I've planted sweet corn for years. I mean, same thing. But, anyways, should be within a week. I should have it all, have some yield behind it so we can really figure out what it did. But, like I say, for it to be three weeks behind this here and a third of the price, you can't really argue with this. I, I don't think you can. So, I use the uh, new Pioneer. There's a Pioneer like yield calculator app. I think it's, I'm not sure what the app is called, but you're supposed to take pictures of three years and type in some other information like your, your plant population and you get, it I should tell you like estimated yield. Well, it told me estimated yield on this decalb was 140 bushels. So, <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> that would be great, but I'm going to say that's probably off. Maybe that was operator error. Maybe I didn't type in the right stuff. Um, I think there, I forgot what, there was something on there that they had a uh, plants per acre and then I think they had, what was it? seeds per bushel something like that I, I can't remember but i didn't know exactly what to put so i kind of just put middle of the range so that may have something to do with it but anyways uh seems a little high but maybe they're right i hope they're right but uh, I'll, I'll try it with this sure flex corn i'll get three of these uh somewhat consistent you know same like these four are pretty close here i will i will say this i will say this walking out in this Sureflex corn, it is awfully consistent. This is it's fairly consistent like this, but I see I saw more like what I call nubbin ears in the decalb field than I did the Sureflex field. So anyways, I've rambled way too long. But anyways, I'm gonna show you that show you guys that. Um yep. I'm not paid by Sureflex or anything like that, but guys, if you want to check out uh, this Sureflex, I think it's just, you just look Google Sureflex hybrids. Um, they have, shoot, probably 30 different hybrids, you know, to suit wherever you're growing corn at. So check them out. Um, $97 a bag. That is included, that's shipping included to your front door. $97. Folks, that's about all I got. The markets are, corn markets are not super great. So you got to do something to, to change to try to make most money you can. And, uh, you know, you, you kind of got to look at it sometimes a little closer to what you're doing. I'm not saying, I'm not hating on the cow here at all. Not at all. I'm just saying. Um, this is definitely an eye opener. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your experience with conventional corn. And, uh, yeah. Take care.